So, the Sabres have made yet another trade today. Not only did they trade away Jack Eichel in exchange for a whole bunch of stuff, we made a video about that if you want to go ahead and check it out, but they also have acquired a player whose name you might be a little bit familiar with. The New York Islanders have traded the rights to Johnny Boychuk to the Buffalo Sabres in exchange for... nothing. Future Considerations is an on-paper thing. It almost never usually amounts to anything, and you never really get fulfilled with Future Considerations. Johnny Boychuk is a name you might be familiar with because he is an NHL player before, or at least, who played 700 games in the league over the span of 15 seasons. He was a defenseman who is currently 37 years old, 6'2", 227, a right-handed guy, making 6 million bucks until the end of this season. That's right, his contract signed back in, what was it, 2015, was extraordinarily long. He signed this with the Islanders, and it really didn't pay off all too well, because sure, he did spend a boatload of time with New York, but he actually retired early, he stopped playing at the end of the 2020 season, and he has been retired ever since. So, Johnny Boychuk, because he is a guy whom the Islanders just kind of placed on, I believe, their LTIR, and just used the cap space, they've had this contract sitting on their books ever since 2015. Now, they trade this contract over to the Buffalo Sabres, and it's pretty much a move that can just help the Sabres get barely to the cap floor. We had spoken in the previous video about how this entire package of Tuck and Krebs coming over to Buffalo was just barely enough. They needed about five-something million dollars in cap space, and they got just over five with the Tuck contract. But now, with Johnny Boychuk on their system, they have themselves what is a profile with Johnny Boychuk on the IR that is barely able to suffice just over the floor. You're not allowed to have your NHL team have too little money spent. So for Johnny Boychuk coming over here on the IR, it helps the Buffalo Sabres in that department. They're not really going to put him on the LTIR because, I mean, look at their LTIR. They don't have anybody on there. Just the regular IR is being used here with Yoki Haru, Milstad, Tuck, and now Boychuk. This helps the team reach the cap floor because their projected cap hit, if you take a look at things right here, $67 million, and the cap floor is, what is it? It's like something in the early 60s, so they're going to be fine. Now, next season, things get a little bit more complicated because they do have $40 million of a cap hit for next season, and they have a boatload of guys that they need to re-sign. All this red you see right here, yeah, these contracts are going to need to be re-signed and reloaded heading into the 2022-2023 season, so we'll kind of do the entire process all over again when it comes to getting this team to the cap floor. But for where things stand right now, Johnny Boychuk, for future considerations, really not a big trade, but it's one that's kind of necessary here to ensure that the Sabres have themselves what is a susceptible, that the Sabres have what is a proper team going forward. So talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Johnny Boychuk heading over to the Sabres? I know it's a random name out of all the people to go out there and acquire onto your team. Johnny Boychuk of all names, eh? At the very least, he does expire next season, so this is just pretty much relief for this season and this season only. Because he is retired, there's no way he's going to get another contract. He'll likely just live off the money that he gets this season and then call it a day riding off into the sunset. But for who Boychuk was, as we know, he's a Stanley Cup champion. He won the Cup with the Bruins in 2011, and he was a pretty good guy playing for that squad. He is, at the very least, just a body to be used in this trade. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think? I hope you enjoyed this with a show. I'll show you And bye.